Well, Joe here, Southern Coast of Cooking, coming at you here. Um, you know, I've been I showed you the last video, I believe, my course show, my new uh, meat dehydrator or vegetable dehydrator, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna make some beef jerky today for you guys. Now, as far as the how I did it, I went up to the grocer, my local grocer, and bought a five pound or six pound chub of Ive Round and had them slice it on the little meat slicer, you know, the little thing. It's a lot easier than me taking it. I'm messing with it. I told them I was making jerky with it. So that's a little tip, save you some time, okay? Now I've got all my sliced pieces here and they have been marinated. Now, the marinade that I use is from a fellow, a friend of ours that uh, he makes beef jerky himself. And, and from time to time, I don't know if he sells it, but and he gives a lot of weight at Christmas and stuff like that. And he basically gave me a jar of his mix to marinate this stuff in. So I don't have a recipe for you, but basically all I did was pour this jar, this mix, let it marinate for about two days in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna research some recipes, uh, but I mean, this stuff, man, this guy does is amazing. His beef jerky is really good. Of course, he's not gonna give me away the recipe, but uh, it's some good stuff, but I'll look online, we'll experiment some more so you can get a recipe, you know. Now, the book that comes with my dehydrator, let me show y'all, coming right back to you. It came with a bunch of recipes. So they got beef jerky recipes in here. How I do suggest this uh, dehydrator link. Again, look at links in the description box, stuff like that. But let's just see how this does. Remember, I have one of those round ones Old stack of dehydrators, that thing's just a pain to deal with. So this one has one, two, three. I'm loading four trays, but it came with uh, six of these stainless steel trays, which are really nice, and some plastic ones too for doing like uh, fruit leathers and things like that. But anyway, let's get over here, let's load the machine up, let's get it started, and I'll show you what we're talking about. So there it is right there, there's the dehydrator. Um, I let it do a test run earlier, just to burn any like factory grease out of there, anything like that, kind of wiped out with some water. And that's how we're gonna do it right here. We're gonna put these trays on, find out what order I'm gonna put them in here. So we're just gonna just kind of start putting them in there. I guess we'll stack it from the top up there. Now, uh, from some reviews I read along, I said be careful, you don't want to scratch the uh, the protective coating inside there is a really good non-stick stuff. Just kind of be careful with that. Okay, I'm going to do every other tray since we don't have four in here. I'm going to just slide these bad boys in. Okay, put one more to go in. Put this one up there. All right, up in just a second. The machine also comes with some of these plastic trays too for like making fruit leathers. And I was watching a review and this lady said, go ahead and put that in your bottom tray down there. So that way, uh, you don't have to worry about dripping stuff like that. So we'll set that one down there like that. Go we'll ahead and close this. Okay, make sure everything's closed. And we'll make sure everything's plugged in over here. I'll zoom you all in so we can see what's going on. Okay, plug it in. Okay, now go over here to your time temp. 165 at size it goes, that's for beef jerky. And then you want your, your time, don't you get eight hours, that sounds about good. So we'll hit start, kicks on, very, very quiet, probably the quietest, quietest dehydrator you'll ever see. You can watch all these reviews about that, but we'll just let it rock and roll. We'll check it here in a few hours. All right, y'all, we are done with the beef jerky. And I'm gonna tell you one of my favorite things so far about this course food, course food uh, dehydrator my wife said this last night she's like you're gonna have to step up with that beef jerky because normally with our old school you know the round ones stackables yeah you know, there wasn't no time or anything like that on there and you would just have to you know let it go wake up in the middle of the night on with this one you set the timer we set it for eight hours with these and boom it shut off when they were done last night so 
That's great. Let's go ahead and take a look at everything. Pull some out for you guys to see. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Look at there. Some nice uh, little sheets there. Let's we'll try a little piece here. What do I want to try this piece here? All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, break it up first. Obviously, we want to check, make sure everything's completely dry. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Good sweet peppery flavor. I like that beef jerky. Now remember, y'all. Change the description box. I'll put some links and stuff like that. This is a great little dehydrator. I can't wait to do some more stuff in it, but so much better than a little stack of one in my opinion. Thanks again, y'all. Please like my videos, sub my channel. God bless, and y'all have a good one.